It's not unusual for Google to change its logo from time to time to reflect different holidays, beliefs, and celebrations from across the world. However, when a bubble tea logo popped up on Sunday, January 29, a lot of people were baffled by the inclusion. The name comes from the jelly-like appearance of the pearls that look like bubbles in the drink. Why is it so popular? The beverage gained a lot of popularity during the COVID-19 pandemic. Why has Google chosen today? Google has selected January 29 to celebrate bubble tea, as on this day in 2020, it was announced that the drink would be given its own emoji. How has Google marked the occasion? Google has come up with an interactive doodle that allows people to create their own milk tea concoctions and run their own shops. All users need to do is click on the doodle and an animation will start playing on the screen. In the interactive doodle, people are playing as a Formosan mountain dog who operates a bubble tea stand in the midst of a rainy forest. People can then fill the cup with each ingredient like milk and the boba balls to reach a certain line. All in all, players will need to fill five orders before closing shop for the day each progressively harder than the last. After each drink is completed, the customers line up their straws and poke through the lid in a satisfying way. What has Google said about it? Google wrote on its doodle page, this Taiwanese drink started as a local treat and has exploded in popularity over the last few decades. Bubble tea has its roots in traditional Taiwanese tea culture, which dates back as early as the 17th century. However, it wasn't until the 1980s that the bubble tea as we know it today was invented. It further added, as waves of Taiwanese immigrants over the past few decades brought this drink overseas, innovation on the original bubble tea continues. Shops around the world are still experimenting with new flavors, additions, and mixtures. Traditional tea rooms across Asia have also joined in on the boba craze, and the trend has reached countries like Singapore, Japan, South Korea, and more.